Guys, welcome to this two-part mini-series on all things to do for fashion, men, and dating. I'm David Thorpe, dating coach here in Sydney, Australia, and today I'm joined by my very special guest, Kim from Style Sense, who is Australia's leading fashion coach and national TV star. And Kim, tell us a bit about what you do. Hi, um, so yes, I'm Kim. I'm a former fashion designer turned personal stylist. So I am well equipped with a really unique set of skills to help you dress, to make you feel better every day, and for dating to hopefully meeting the love of your life. Good stuff. And we are here in the personal styling suites of David Jones. We've got the entire place to ourselves. Um, so yeah, already having a good time. But uh, Kim, today um, I'm just looking for some easy to understand free tips on mm -hmm. improving my fashion as a man because I want to look good when I'm out, mm -hmm. uh, just generally in day-to-day -day life. Um, I don't know, I might see my dream lady. Exactly. you never know when you're going to run into no. it, right? So I want to look good, I want to look good, and I need some easy to understand fashion tips because I know a lot of guys struggle with getting their head uh, heads around fashion. So mm -hmm. what can you tell us and help us with? So I've got a bit of a kind of five point guiding style for you, right? Five things I want you to think about before you even start to put anything on your body, okay? So think of this as your guiding style. So number one is the the first impressions count, okay? So it's now, the latest research shows that it's no longer seven seconds to make a first impression, it's just two, right? So in the blink of an eye, someone has summed you up, okay? And when they've made that initial judgment of you, it's really difficult to be seen differently. So first impressions are everything, okay? Number two, clothes as communication. So I want you to think about your clothes as language, okay? Because what you're wearing is the most powerful form of communication there is. So before you've even opened your mouth and said, hello, I'm David, um, you have said something through what you're wearing, okay? So really think about that in terms of, you know, if you're rocking up in a chino that's really, you know, had its, you know, seen better days, it's a bit baggy, no longer fits, it's faded, that shows that you don't care about the date and it also shows you don't really care about yourself. So that's a definite no-no. Appropriateness of your outfit. So really think about where you're going for your date. So the venue, the time, um, and where the location is because obviously wherever we go, it's got a kind of different vibe. So, you know, jump on their website, have a look, ask friends maybe if they've been there before because there's a huge difference between, you know, something like, for example, a really smart shirt, so more fused, a much smarter, concealed um, plackets, etc., much smarter kind of shirts, rather than something that's a little bit more relaxed. The fabric's more relaxed, the collar's more relaxed, we see the buttons. So the vibe is quite different between the two. So do a little bit of research and make sure that it's appropriate for where you're going and, uh, and the time of day that you're, you're going. Number four, always level up. Okay, so often when we think about leveling up, often we do think of suddenly going from a casual shirt to a, a smart, smart shirt, but we don't always need to level up that much. Leveling up to me is about, you know, polishing your shoes. It's about maybe uh, making sure that you've laundered your clothes, you've got no stains on them. It's little tweaks to your outfit that once you put it all together, that really levels up your outfit. Yeah, that's really, really key. And leveling up to me is also about just looking a little bit more sophisticated. So cleaner and just maybe a little bit more sophisticated. And that can be as simple as, you know, going from a short sleeve shirt with a bit of a pattern on to something that's more um, long sleeve rolling up that's a little bit cleaner. Yeah, it can be as simple as that that makes you just look that little bit more sophisticated. And it's also worth mentioning with leveling up grooming, you know, go and get a haircut if you feel like, you, you know, it's a little bit out of control, you know, cutting your nails, you know, clean nails, all these little things that your date is gonna notice. Because when you're on a date, you're the same, you know, and men meeting women, we're looking at every little detail and we are really being judged. So it's really, really important to feel your best self, but grooming is a big, big part of that too. Okay, number five, gotta be comfortable in your clothes. Because don't you think it shows when you feel a bit uncomfortable and something's a bit tight and it's just... Keep correcting and stuff. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And you're fiddling with it all and you're not enjoying the date. So you've really got to be true to yourself in terms of staying comfortable um, and being able to enjoy the date, yeah? Because that's what it's all about. So I hope from these five points that you kind of understand that putting a little bit of thought and a little bit of research into your date, your date will go so much better because you will feel so much more confident in your clothes and hopefully there'll be a good outcome and date number two will come. Good stuff. And I really relate to uh, your point number one about it's those first few seconds because 
um, with you know myself teaching cold approach and um, clients that I take out you see it from you know the interactions I've had with women and also the clients that I take out when that approach is done it's it is those first couple of seconds where those judgments are made yeah. and the chance of the lady staying to chat or not so obviously I'm more focused on the uh, you know the distance the sound the smile you know all the yeah. the, the, the confidence and body language but the thing um, obviously why I need your help is it is it is that fashion and I think if you're dressed terribly you are going to get rejected and blown out whereas if you're dressed really well um, I would say good fashion especially in the interaction can contribute I don't know maybe 20 percent of oh. the successor of the interaction or maybe if even higher more. if not if higher not more. absolutely if not more um, and so if you're looking like absolutely amazing again the chance of that interaction sticking exactly. and working and the lady wanting to stay in chat is, is absolutely huge and I think fashion is often overlooked um, yes, and as a form of communication, yeah. and it's actually a really, really powerful form. And, and one thing as well, guys, uh, a few months ago, uh, Kim did a really good personal stylist experience on uh, one of my clients who came out for the Approaching Coaching Weekend, and I saw him uh, before, um, and his fashion was okay, um, and the interactions with, with women were okay. But then after his experience with Kim, uh, I almost didn't recognize him when he came out at the train station to come see me. Um, maybe we'll talk a little bit about color matching, but just his mm. coordination was absolutely brilliant. And uh, there was a huge change in his um, interaction sticking, the positive receptions yeah, and from his women. Persona, he really carried himself differently, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. It was amazing. And, and, and so it just makes such a huge difference. And the, the really important thing for guys is it's something that you can control entirely absolutely. your own fashion. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that's the thing, you are in control of it. And by, I, I think just giving it you know, a little bit of time that it deserves to invest in yourself, and I'm not talking about investing loads of money, I'm just in, talking about investing a little bit of time in actually thinking about what might go together or actually this is stained, let's get another one. It's you know those, those little things that can really put people off. Mm -hmm. And once you're confident in your clothes and you know who you are, you know what you're wearing, the, the persona, the version of you that you put forward is just all about having fun and getting to know people rather than, you know, really unconfident. And, and it shows in our body language and, and, and the way we speak. Mm, absolutely. Um, and yeah, as you said, the, the like aura of the guy, if he's feeling good, if he's, yeah. if he's been well dressed, if yeah. he believes in the outfit he's wearing, yeah. it is that confidence that radiates out. And again, you know, interactions with with with, uh, with women that he likes it are just going to go so much better absolutely okay so good stuff kim but um just a guy might be watching this and mm -hmm. just think oh well you know fashion isn't isn't that important like <gasps> i think i can wing it <gasps> so as a woman looking at men um tell us a bit about that if you see a guy that's not that well dressed or he is kind of winging it and also your female clients have talked about their male dating prospects yes. so just interested in your view as a woman and how important fashion in a man is oh my gosh it is everything okay so i have to, i'll be completely honest i've got lots and lots of female clients that are coming to me that have um, started dating again or they're dating for the first time and it's really really interesting when they meet a man and they generally say oh kimmy's lovely but i've got to send him to you <laughs> okay so i cannot tell you how much how important it is and we're not saying you know you have to turn up in designer uh, you know designer goods we're not saying you have to wear you know a tuxedo the whole time that's absolutely not it but you've got to look like you care about yourself and you care about the date that you're going on yeah and that's really really vital and if you're not sure how to coordinate colors then play it safe but i also i really want to stress because most men when i open their wardrobes and i'm helping them most of them will have black, white, and gray with a little bit of pale blue, okay? That's a very, very, those four colors are very, very popular in most wardrobes. But I really, really would suggest for you to stay away from black and gray, okay? Because black drains the color out of us for most, for most of us, okay? So you don't rock up to your date looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, okay? Um, also, black can look a little bit like we want to kind of hide into the background and shrink and not really be seen. And that's not the confident mm. version of you we want to put across when we're going on dates. Grey can also be really dull, okay? And again, drains the life out of most of us. So two colours to really easily stay away from is black and grey. I know I'm not going to be popular for that, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, okay. And the other thing as well is... Um as a guy and, and for, you know, for the example of 
of my wife, you know, the wardrobe space that she needs is about three times the size. Yep. And I know for guys, it's quite intimidating because they think, oh, you know, I want to improve my fashion, want to listen to Kim, but I've got to go and buy absolutely loads of clothes and I've got to be like a woman and have a million pairs of shoes and all, and all no. of these things. No, no, no. And as men, we don't really want to do that, no. but is, 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 is that okay not to have lots Absolutely, of you do not need loads of clothes and that's what we're going to play with in part two as well, but you absolutely don't need loads of clothes. So the reason women have more than men is because women have so much more shape choice mm -hmm. than men. So men's will generally always be a bit smaller because you haven't got lots of the shapes that we can play with as women. You do not need loads of clothes. The magic really happens, and what I specialize in actually, is a colorful capsule wardrobe. So when I'm saying colorful, I don't mean pops of bright green and bright red and bright orange, that's not it. I'm talking about inserting color into your wardrobe, beautiful, sophisticated hues to mix and match rather than just going gray, black and white, mm -hmm. which you look pretty generic in and there's nothing really standing out about you. So it's learning to play with some really beautiful, sophisticated colors, not the pop brights, but playing here more so that you can then mix and match your wardrobe. But really you only need three or four pairs of shoes. I do it all the time. We don't need loads of stuff. And once you start to actually create your color capsule within an actual color palette, everything goes much easily together. So you mix and match your outfit so much better. And I call it kind of compound interest effect, right? Because if you've got two outfits that you're wearing and you can create four outfits from it, mm, okay? Yes, yeah, yeah. When we then double that to, um, to four outfits, we actually then get 20 outfits from it, okay? It's amazing. Right, so it's kind of the compound interest that you can then play with when you're actually shopping in a color palette. Right, so there you have it guys, we've got the essential fashion tips for men. And so we've got Kim's uh, key five points, which guiding are... Guiding star. The guiding, <laughs> the guiding star. Guiding star, sorry, guiding star. <laughs> we've got number one, making a good first impression. This cannot be understated. Number two, clothes as a communicator. Fashion is the most powerful form of communication there is. Number three, appropriateness of your outfit. So do a little bit of research, guys. It really counts. Number four, uh, leveling up. There's a few different ways to do this. It doesn't always mean that you have to dress really, really smart. It's much, much more simple than that. And number five, being comfortable in your clothes. It really does show, and we want you to go ahead, have fun, and hopefully score that second date. Okay, so thanks very much, Kim, for all the advice Pleasure. you've given and you've done a great job with some of my clients so obviously that's why we're working together thank you and um and so if guys want to uh, get in touch with you mm -hmm. um tell us yeah where you're based the services you offer and how they can find you so best for any man to contact me through my website stylesense.net.au I've actually got some um, men portfolio on there as well so they can see the type of before and afters um, because I know it is a little bit scary thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to hand over my style to someone. But what you learn, so basically all my services are based on collaboration and education. That's really what drives me um, to help you feel better in your clothes. And that's why I started Style Sense. So I literally do everything. So I'm a former fashion designer. I know garments intimately. I know um, the retail space intimately. We're at David Jones um, Personal Styling Suites at the moment. I know the product really, really well. Um, so I can then impart all of that on you. So you shortcut feeling great through me. I do color analysis. I help with body shape, body proportions. That's a really big one for men as well. How to flatter the body, um, wardrobe edits, wardrobe outfitting, um, and right through to shopping. Um, so literally there is nothing I can't help you with in terms of putting your best self forward. Okay, and so if guys are based in Sydney, obviously that's great because they yes, can work with you face to face. Absolutely, but I offer everything online. Ah, okay, yeah, because I was going to say we've got uh, our biggest viewing audiences are also US and UK. Absolutely, I offer everything online. Okay. So, um, so it's really easy. So I can interact and work with every single client in whatever way they need. And obviously, you know, they're there to, to ask questions, etc., and really answer and, and problem solve the problems that they have when they're getting ready. Cool. And we'll put a link in the description down below uh, for Kim uh, in terms of your website and your, your own YouTube channel as well. 
Um, and yeah, I can't emphasize Kim enough. The difference she has made for my clients has been absolutely phenomenal, oh, resulted you. in better interactions, phone numbers, dating prospects. Yes, whereas that's before what we want. this was not happening, yes. and the, the fashion was a huge, huge part of that. Yes. And yeah, I also can't emphasize enough that dressing well is so important. The, the phrase that I've coined, uh, the battle for the street or the battle for approaching, is won or lost before you've even arrived. And a big absolutely. part of that my gosh. is yeah. how you look, okay? You yeah. can really give yourself a huge step up in getting your interactions going well, um, getting phone numbers and going on dates and fashion is a huge foundation behind that. But until the next video and another time and stay tuned for part two as we do some uh, dressing and getting ready for dates. You do some dressing. I do some dressing <laughs> um, for dates. Um, stay tuned and I will see you on the next one.